Tony Gaskins here with an episode of Car Chronicles. Now, as you know, eyes on the road. So ride with me, talk with me. And in our Car Chronicles, you know, I really want to start trying to address some of the issues that men bring up. Grabbing different things from social media and just really getting an understanding and talking through it because we have certain narratives out there that a lot of times is one-sided. And I got a call the other day from a guy and he said, Tony, I wanna ask you a question. He's a professional athlete. And he said, Tony, I wanna ask you a question. What actually are the benefits of a man getting married? Like, why should a man actually get married? And as I was there thinking about it, it was hard to come up with an answer. I'll be honest with you. It was hard to come up with an answer. And in the sense of thinking of today's mindset that we have as men, because this internet is dangerous. The internet is dangerous because now we are being seen, and I'm gonna tell you, I, I work in the space of self-development, and it's a lot of days I get down and depressed when I look and see the women online and some of the mindsets of the women online, it's bad. And a lot of times the good women get overlooked because they're not poking their butt out online and they're not attention seeking. They're not walking around with all of their body hanging out to get the eyes of men. They're living their life. They're taking care of their children. If they're a single mom, they're focused on their career, their job, their business. If they don't have kids and they're minding their business, they're going to work, they're going home and then they're not doing the most online. So it's, it appears that, hey, there's no good women because men are meeting women differently today. And then even men who getting out and they're in the singles group at the church, if the woman's not in the group, if the good woman going to work, going home, then a man can't meet her. They're moving so far away from like religious conviction. So when we think about marriage today, we just think about being with one woman. You can only be with one woman for the rest of your life. And if you make a bad decision, or that woman gets tired of you, if you've built businesses with her, if you've built a life with her, she could take your kids and, cause nine out of 10 times the court gonna give the kids to the woman. She get the kids at least 50% of the time, sometimes 60, 80, 90% of the time. And then also she can take half of your money. She take half of your money and she may get some type of settlement. She may get spousal support. And the man may then be put on child support. So when you look at it like that, it doesn't seem like there's any reason for a man to get married. And I had to be real about that, to be honest about that. On, on the outlook, it doesn't seem like it makes any sense. But we have narratives that's in our society. And one of the things that as humans that we like to do, we love for everything to fit our narrative. And I get, I get ticked off when I go and I see a video that's asking a question and then the person goes a different way. It's hard to receive it. But that's what I'm asking for the men and women who watch this, who don't think the way I think, who don't do the work that I do, to be open-minded and to be patient if we ever disagree and let's have a dialogue a respectful dialogue like a lot of times when we talk about these things people go to calling names and all of that but i'll be honest with you when you think about marriage we're thinking about this one-sided thing we're thinking about marriage is for the woman and not for the man and in a lot of ways marriage is for the woman if we're being honest, in a lot of ways, marriage is for the woman. If that woman wants to be a homemaker and the man is going out and working and providing a living and a lot of women want to be married and a lot of women 
want to update their Facebook status and a lot of women have planned their wedding from a young age and the women who haven't thought about marriage and a wedding they are the minority and I always see them pop up in the comments like they're a part of the majority but they aren't most women have thought about marriage they want to be married they want to have a family they want to raise kids in the home with a man and they want to be able to sit down if they need to if they have a special needs child or the child is in a certain season of life even not being special needs but just needing them to be able to be responsive and be there at any time at school and that is very customary and we see that a lot and it's certain races and nationalities in certain races where the woman being there for the kids and being the homemaker being the ceo of home is very common and then there's other segments of society where the woman has to work either because she's a single mom or either because their earnings is so low that it's hard to really live off of one income and we see that and that's a very real thing but as a man I'll tell you how marriage benefits me and and this sometimes ticks off women and because women look and they say well especially a single woman well that's a lot you know that's a lot that a woman is doing like my wife every day she takes our kids to school and it's like 40 minutes and she loves to do it and then she comes back home 40 minutes you know she does the grocery shopping she handles making sure the bills are paid. I earn a living. The money goes into a joint account. She pays the lights, water, everything out of that money. And she makes sure the grocery shopping is done. We get groceries delivered most of the times. She makes sure the clothes are washed. We got a bunch of laundry, sometimes 12 outfits in a day because it's four of us. And so if you, if you do work, if you do workout and you do practice, you can have three outfits in a day or you're around the house clothes. So that's several articles of clothing between four people. And you gotta think, I got on this outfit. This is my second outfit because I'm working. So this one, two, three, four, five articles of clothing. So if I change another time, that's 15 articles of clothing, and you multiply that by three, I mean by four, that's 60 articles of clothing that my wife is washing and folding. And that is when men talk about delegating in business. If I had to do all of that laundry, and if I had to get up and drive my kids 40 minutes to school, drive back home, then drive to pick them up, drive back home. That's 80 minutes twice a day, that's 160 minutes. If I had to pay an assistant, a nanny, a driver to do that, by the end of the year, that's gonna cost a fortune. And also, I'm having somebody that does not love my kids. Somebody that may have been up drinking the night before and I don't know that because I wasn't in the bed with them. And my wife she is when you think about a wife in essence she is your confidant she is your teammate in a lot of days she is your life coach she is your therapist she is your stripper she is your porn star she is your ceo she is your cfo at times she is your assistant, your intern, she's the nanny, she's the mom. She covers a lot of roles when we're being honest about it. And as a man, honestly, because my wife doesn't work, she takes pride in, because she doesn't have an outside job, she works in our companies. But even with that, a lot of times the kids schedule so busy, she can't do a whole lot. So a lot of times, I really don't have to lift the ho lift a finger around the house. I earn a living and I earn money, but what I'm doing is my purpose. So it's invigorating. It's draining at times because I'm dealing with human problems, but it's invigorating, it's purpose driven, and it's fun. Right now I'm riding and this is a Dodge, 
Challenger. It's a super stock. 807 horsepower. It was only like two or 300 of them made. It's a 2021. And this is my work. This is way better than doing laundry. A lady wrote me yesterday and she said her man used to always tell her that his work family was his first family because he spent 12 hours at work. I was just watching a documentary about a bourbon heist in Kentucky and the guy said that he worked in the in the warehouse where they did this bourbon and he was like it was fun he said i love my job it was a lot of fun being with the guys and talking and laughing and us taking shots of whiskey and i was like to be honest with you a lot of men are not honest we're a lot of times we're not honest about how fun it is when we get to go to work and be around other guys and talk about guys topics and conversations and how fulfilling and invigorating that is even when the work is hard just having that time where you're not being judged you're not being nagged you're not being whatever and then we go home and then you may feel nagged fortunately my wife doesn't nag and that's why it's important to choose a woman who has a good temperament she has a great conversation skill she knows how to conversate she's a conversationalist she doesn't like to argue and debate she's emotionally intelligent and that's the thing that the reason why most men don't see benefit in marriage is because we don't like self-discipline we don't like the self-control we want to discipline in our diet we want to discipline in our workout sometimes or one area or the other we want to discipline in our money in our business in our brand but we don't want to discipline with our ding -a We don't want the discipline of not watching pornography, not cheating, not sleeping around, not talking to an ex, not having a work wife, not having a Facebook wife or an Instagram wife, not having a female best friend. We don't want that discipline. And that's why we fail. And that's why marriage becomes a burden because it's very stressful to be hiding and to be lying and to be deceiving and manipulating. It's very stressful. But if you give those things up, marriage literally becomes a playground because you're laughing and you're talking with your best friend and you got a business partner, you got a confidant, you got a support system. And that's why studies show that men who are happily married make 20 to 30% more money and on average live longer make more money and have better health and it's because of the balancing act that a woman does brings your blood pressure down we've seen the science on cuddling we've seen the science on sex these things are healthy for us because of what it's releasing in our body the peace and the calm that it brings but when you're controlling a woman when you're lying to a woman when you're cheating on a woman when you're deceiving a woman your life is going to be a living hell and you're going to hate marriage and so this is what i have found from being a man who once slept with three women in a 24-hour period as a broke man not as a rich man not as a uh, influencer or being being known but as a broke man being a guy who slept with over 100 women by the age of 21 being a former college athlete being a guy who dealt with a lot of women in the wrong way I can honestly tell you that I would not trade my married fateful life to go back to being a bachelor or a cheater I would not trade it I would not trade it and that's that's the God heavens truth. And I want to share that from my perspective as a man, because it's so many single men talking about the downside of relationships and so many cheating men talking about the downside of marriage. But you hearing this from a married and faithful man who used to be a dog, who used to be a cheater. And I'm telling you, if you try this on this side and you give it 100 percent and you all the way locked in, you give it a year, you'll never go back. You'll never go back. Because the things that a porn star or a stripper or whoever could do for you, to have a woman doing those things for you, 
who loves you, the things that a chef, the things that a nanny, the things that a maid, the things that a, a business manager, the thing that anybody you can hire can do for you, to have someone doing those things for you that you love, that you genuinely care for, and y'all women, y'all stay out the comments. Okay, this men talking to men, this a man talking to men, y'all ain't gonna un understand everything. So you got the privy of being here, but if you not already left a comment from the woman perspective, delete your comment. Just put the clap hand emojis, just put your amen, and just stay at the barbershop. This a man talking to men. So when I explain the benefits of marriage, some women gonna like, oh, a, a, a woman like a maid? Why you had to say that? That's what a maid would be doing. A lot of the stuff that a woman does. That's the truth for the matter. And but sometimes when women hear the benefits, it may sound like a disadvantage to a woman. But if a man is loving that woman, providing for that woman, making love to her mind, making love to her body, taking care of her, not controlling her, then that woman does not mind taking care of her home, cooking, cleaning, laundry, sex, whatever it may be. That's what we got to understand. Let's, um, y'all hear this little rev a little bit. See, this ain't even work. We can't call this work. And that's what I'm trying to say. So, listen, any fellas see this, put me a real question in the comments from the male perspective. What men dealing with? What men going through? Put me a little question in the comments. Any men who see this, question you have about manhood, marriage, married life, being a father, and we're going to talk about these things, and I'm, I'm going to give my perspective because there's a lot of perspectives out there from guys who are not living and doing life, you know, the way that I'm living and doing it, not to say that my way is better, but it's different, so hey, thanks so much for tuning in. We'll talk soon.